Hello and welcome to the Mythical Ireland office. And the latest arrival in the office is this beautiful Olympia SM3 typewriter. I know what you're thinking. Um, why in 2020 uh, should anyone invest in a typewriter? Well, I've been using the computer uh, or computers to write um, articles and blog posts and my books uh, for years now. But I actually learned to type on an old mechanical typewriter. It was my father's typewriter, an Olivetti Valentine. Uh, probably around, I'd say the first time I used a typewriter was probably in the late 70s, around 1980, when I was like five, six, seven years old. And uh, I, 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 I got used to initially typing with you know, just the four fingers, the two four fingers, and eventually added in second fingers. And by the time I progressed to the computer then, I actually learned uh, to, to, well, it's not quite what you'd call fluid touch typing, but I can type quite fast on the computer after years of practice. But this is going to sound strange, but I actually want to write a book on typewriter. In 2018, uh, starting at Easter and finishing in February 2019, in that span of time, I wrote a book. I've spoken about it in a couple of my videos and po podcasts. I wrote a book called Return to Segish. It hasn't been published yet, but I hand wrote it in a beautiful hardback notebook with creamy pages. With a nice um, felt tip black pen. And I really liked the fact that handwriting had slowed the whole process of writing down. Because I find the computer keyboard so fast, you know, that I'm just flying away on it. And it's almost as if the words are getting ahead of my thoughts. Um, it's very convenient. <coughs> Excuse me. The computer is very convenient for getting things done quickly and in a short space of time. I found writing Return to Segish, handwriting it, to be a, an, an exhilarating experience in a way. It was a little bit tire, tiring compared to typing, but it definitely slowed down the whole process of thinking and forming words and, uh, I suppose, writing coherently. With the computer, there's a hell of a lot of backspacing going on. You know, you type and then you make a mistake and you go back, or you type the wrong thing and you go back, or you're selecting entire sentences and paragraphs and deleting them. So... The ambition is to to write my next book using a typewriter. Now, I don't know whether I'll double type all that back into the computer afterwards or just scan it and use OCR technology to get it into digital form, which it needs to be uh, as an end product, as it were, or an interim product in order to present it to publishers. I just liked the idea of slowing everything down and doing it the old-fashioned way, the way that I learned to type. So there's a little bit of nostalgia going on here as well, obviously. So I looked online, and after a little bit of searching, I came across a gentleman in, in County Kilkenny, in our, here in Ireland, who, it seemed, had developed over the past three or four years a, ho a hobby of restoring old typewriters and getting them back to full working order and looking resplendent. Um, his name is Colm and he is on Instagram as The Magic Typer. And so I reached out and I said, look, this is what I'm thinking about, thinking about getting a typewriter. I could go on Done Deal or Adverts or eBay and find something um, for 40 or 50 euros but there's no guarantee that it'll work or that it won't need work done on it. And so Colm said, look, I'll get you fixed up with something. And so he came back to me after thinking about it a little bit, about my needs. And he said, I have the perfect typewriter for you. It's a, a 1950s Olympia SM3. And he spent a number of days working on making sure it was all clean and making sure everything was working and making sure all the type was aligned and everything else. Now, I don't even know what the various parts of a typewriter are called. Um, you know, I, I mean, you have, the, you have the, the keys or the buttons, but the platen is the roll, you know, that the paper rolls around on. And then the carriage is a special feature on the SM3, which I believe is probably on a lot of older typewriters. 
that you can you can uh, release the carriage and bring it up and down wherever you want. The spacing setting is here. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot to engage the uh, the paper support. <laughs> there you go for supporting the paper. There's no one, so you use a lowercase l for one, and there's no zero, so you use an uppercase o for zero, which is going to be interesting. And the carriage lifts for the shift for the capital letters. But um, it looks for its age to be in superb condition. And so I just wanted to type something on it by way of an introduction to it. I, I've, 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 I've typed one sentence on it uh, so far. That's all I've done. And so I wanted to type something rather special as a way of introducing it properly to myself and as a way of perhaps... Um, Introducing it to your good selves as well. I'm not sure how the tabbing works So um, I'm just going to go in a number of spaces to type the the title of this poem that I'm going to type This poem is from a chapter in the book the candle of vision by George William Russell And it's the last chapter of the book. It's called earth E A or T H. So I'll do that in capital letters uh, and then I'm going to type the poem. There will be a lot of carriage returns because the sentences are short. So forgive me if my typing is not... Uh, I won't be using all my fingers and it's not going to be as fluent as it is on the computer. But anyway, we'll try it. So this is called Earth. Uh, now I have to think about it for a second because I know it off by heart. No sign is made while empires Pass. Carriage return. The flowers and stars are still his care. His with a capital H. The oh, careful constellation. Oh, and I made a mistake. Well, I didn't hit the key properly. Backspace. The constellations hid in grass, comma, the golden miracles in air. Uh, I have to think about the next sentence. Life in an instant will be rent when death is lit oh I made a mistake lit <laughs> okay I have to x out the e that I typed in the wrong place glit glittering uh, blind and wild Life and incident will be rent when death is glittering, blind and wild. The heavenly brooding with capital HB. The heavenly brooding is intent. I think so. I'll have to double check my work afterwards. To that last instant on its wonder if that should be up on rather than on but I may anyway, we will progress it breathes the glow in brain and heart life is made I think it's magical and I made a mistake I typed no way Oh, now I've typed L-A instead of A-L. Life is made magical, full stop, until... It breeds the glow in brain and heart. Life is made magical until... Body and spirit... Oh, I didn't hit the A hard enough. Are apart... This something works its will. It breathes the glow in brain and heart. Life is made magical until body and spirit are apart. Yeah, the everlasting. The 
capitally everlasting works i think it's capital i for its will two more stanzas to go in that wild orchid oh, i made him no i didn't i just didn't type it properly in that wild orchid that your feet in their next falling shall destroy minute and passionate and sweet the mighty master oh try to do too much the mighty master holds his joy of course you can google this earth by uh, George William Russell let's see whether I'm right or not I may have a couple of words wrong last stanza now though the crushed jewels droop and fade the artists uh, apostrophe oh yeah shift eight the artists labors will not cease and from the ruins shall be made oh Oh, I did. I didn't go backspace, so now it says some S O space M E. Anyway, uh, some yet more lovely master piece, and that is by George William. Russell and insignificantly typed by Anthony Murphy. Twenty second January twenty twenty. And there is the first proper bit of typing that I have done on the Olympia SM3 and I suppose I should read that back to you in a very non-staccato non-broken up fashion and perhaps the fashion that it was uh, supposed to be read as a poem I'll try and remember it without uh, looking at the paper but if I need to uh, have it as a reference no sign is made while empires pass the flowers and stars are still his care the constellations hid in grass the golden miracles in air. Life in an instant will be rent when death is glittering blind and wild. The heavenly brooding is intent to that last instant on its child. It breathes the glow in brain and heart. Life is made magical until body and spirit are apart. The everlasting works its will. In that wild orchid that your feet in their next falling shall destroy, minute and passionate and sweet, the mighty master holds his joy. Though the crushed jewels droop and fade, the artist's labours will not cease, and from the ruins shall be made some yet more lovely masterpiece. That is the lovely Olympia SM3, dating from sometime in the 1950s, not quite sure when. Beautifully uh, restored and in full working order, thanks to the great and wonderful talents of Colm Nolan, the magic typer in Kilkenny. And here on the desk of Mythical Ireland, it will be hopefully put to great use, uh, creating uh, at least one more. Uh, book if not several.